Have a good day. You too. Happy junking, Mommy. Thank you. I'll find some good junk. Okay. Bye. Bye. Learn lots. Hello. Okay, make me proud. Now that that's taken care of, have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. We're going checking. Okay, so I have to crisscross the state today. I have two client deliveries to make. So I've got this wonderful brass fan that I sold on Etsy and another piece back here. See, if you live in Minnesota, you get delivery. <laughs> of course, if you wanna buy me a plane ticket for wherever you are, I will deliver it there too and I'll go junk in with you. So um, I'm gonna crisscross the state literally. I found out yesterday I have to go sign some paperwork on like the south end of the metro. This woman lives on the east end of the metro. My second delivery is on the west end of the metro and then I have to go to my parents in the north metro on my way back to pick up the kid. So we've got a busy busy day but the best part about crisscrossing the state is there are several locations in there that I don't get to very often when I go junking because you know, I end up going north and out to the country a lot. I don't end up in the city. And since all of these locations are in this, in and around the metro, I get to go to some really fun junk shops that I don't get to very often. One of my favorite is Arc Value Village in the South Metro. That's definitely a muck. And that's where I'm heading today after I make my first delivery in the East Metro. Gotta take care of business first. And then we're gonna go uh, to Ark and then we're gonna make the second delivery because that's on the way back up. Oh, see what it is when you're a junker? People think this job is easy. My girlfriend Joanna is going away for a mommy weekend with me this weekend. And um, <clears throat> I asked her if we were gonna go out to dinner or you know go out for cocktails. Do I need to bring anything nice? And she said, no, I'm always so exhausted after a day with you that I just want to go back and put my sweats on. So, and it's hard work. You're, it's a lot of work. She gets just exhausted going with me. And it's like, yeah, I do this every day. Every day is, this is my job, you know, between painting and shopping and listing and all this stuff. There's a lot going on. And this is just one of those fun days where I get to be in the car. And I know a lot of people wouldn't think that's fun, but I get to crisscross the state and find some good junk that I wouldn't normally buy. More high-end stuff. So, a little cash on me and we will go shopping. Okay, we've made our first delivery and the sun is barely up. So yay, we're making good time, which means the better time I make, the more time I have for shopping. Okay, I'm at the place I need to sign paperwork. Just need to find a parking space in this ramp. Okay, so that was quick and painless. Now, my second delivery, it says is equidistance from um, the thrift store. So I'm gonna make that delivery first so I can take my time at the thrift store. Let's do it. Delivery is made. Let's go shopping. So excited. I'm only seven minutes away. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. I love Ark. It's, it's one of my favorite thrift stores. And I can only stay here for about an hour. <laughs> but we'll find something. Not gonna lie, not the best shopping day. Ooh, at Ark, no, up here. I can go this way. Yeah. Um, still found a bag full of stuff, and maybe got a Christmas present. Not gonna say for who, Jenny. <laughs> so I spent forty-seven dollars, but I won't show you the Christmas gift because uh, I know she watches the videos. Hi, Jen. Anyway. I am going to hit the road. I have one more stop to make. And then I'm going to park in the parking lot of my daughter's school and I will show you guys everything. 
You know what? I got a little time before I got to pick up my daughter. We're going to hit another one. We're at Helping Hands where they give away free pastry. So let's see what they got. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Do you see two chairs sticking out back here? And I found a, uh, I found a uh, wardrobe. A waterfall wardrobe. For $28. It was half off. It's not in the car, but I bought it. She said she'd hold it for me so I could come pick it up because I knew I couldn't get it in the car right now. Oh, ask me if I need a project right now. Nope, <laughs> I don't need a project right now. I really don't need a project right now, but it was just, it's, it's a waterfall wardrobe. It's 1930s waterfall wardrobe and it's painted gold and turquoise right now. Um, the woman who works there was her daughter's and it was white originally, she said. And uh, it's probably going back to being white. Right now the panels that were in the front have been removed. So the, the doors are open. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I I haven't really thought it through because I didn't expect to be buying a waterfall wardrobe today. Uh, but I'll either put new um, plywood panels back in there and do something fun on it, or I will put chicken wire in it or glass or I don't know. I gotta eat something. I think it was low blood sugar. Let me get some food in me. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it must have been low blood sugar. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Because I can't sneak it in the house. He's gonna know. It's not like you're not gonna see a giant wardrobe. <laughs> It's pretty. I mean, it's it's got good bones. It will be pretty. It has potential. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> I'll show you everything I got. Okay, I got nothing in my teeth. I think. Finish my lunch. And spill it myself. <laughs> I usually do spill on myself. So anyway, let's show you what I got. I'm so excited. This seems stupid. LED dew drop lights. These are the ones that you can sort of mold around, around things um, like fairy lights. Tell me this is the plug, right? It's plug? No, nope, it's battery operated. That's what I was afraid of. No, it's a plug. Yay. Um, these are great to light up the booth space with. The best tip you could ever receive when you're staging a booth or a pop-up sale is lighting. Lighting matters. Like dark spots, mm. It brings people in having a nice, bright, and well-lit space. So I know, for instance, this month um, we're switching over to our November sale is like the kickoff to Christmas. And, um... I did not have an anchor piece. Well, I put in a big table and I, so I could put stuff underneath it and stuff up above it. But underneath that table gets really dark. So these are actually going to line the underneath of the table uh, for this month's sale to shine light down on all the stuff that I have underneath the table. So I'm really excited to have these and I'm glad it's a plug-in. If it had been a battery operated one, I still would have um, put them in but unfortunately I can't be guaranteed that the other vendors will turn my lights on for me. Uh, as it is sometimes they don't turn the plug-in ones on. Alright. That's enough of that. Uh, vintage fabric. Like really cool vintage fabric from the 60s. Totally stoked about this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it or if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to use it to make projects with but really great vintage fabric so this is actually for my sister um, these are purse handles 
They were brand new. Uh, somebody gave them to Savers, who tried to sell them for $3.99. They did not sell. So then, or they did, and then somebody donated it to ARC, and they sold it for $1.99, and I bought it for my sister, who makes purses. So Jenny, these are for you. Um, Lucite bamboo, hand, faux bamboo handles. So these are like Lucite plastic, or just plastic, I don't know that they're Lucite. Yeah, anyway, faux bamboo plastic handles for purses. They'll be super cute. Maybe she could use the vintage fabric. Jenny! What do you think? Let's make a purse. Anyway, next. So for those of you who are new to the channel, um, hi, hi. Um, you may not know this yet, but in my booth, we can have up to 25%, I think, new items. Uh, so we can have like new signs and stuff like that. This is for the booth to go in for Christmas walls and smalls, walls and smalls. So I paid 99 cents for this. I'm gonna get five bucks for it easy. It's a canvas that just says joy. That's easy, five bucks all day long. No, <laughs> this is a cute little frame. The glass is missing. You can easily get replacement glass. Michaels has them all over the place. Uh, they had 79 cents on it. So this will end up getting a coat of duck egg blue. I sell frames and duck egg blue. Y'all, I'm so sick of painting frames duck egg blue, but you love them and you keep buying them. But I just sit there watching, you know, Supernatural painting. <laughs> Duck it blue on everything. <laughs> oh yeah, just me, just me, right? So this was kind of a fun one. All wooden spools. So all of you little vintagey people know you can get a good amount of money for the wooden spools. There's a cork in there too. But all the rest of them are wooden spools and one plastic. I don't care. Got oh, two corks. But the wooden spools, you put them in a bag, you put a couple bucks on them. This was $2.99 for this. I'll probably sell the jar too. Wooden spools people use for decorative things. You can put little Christmas trees on them and, and they're cute. For... Have you seen that on Pinterest, y'all? Just me? I'm the only one on Pinterest going, ooh, a new use for wooden spools. Uh, yeah, so this he sold me for a dollar ninety nine. It didn't have a price tag on it. Hand painted Delft Holland, uh, Delft blue uh, in Holland is uh, uh, pretty spendy stuff. You can get some nice pieces. This is particularly unique because usually it's in the dark blue and white, the Delft that I've seen, and this has the um, brass spout thing on it. But look at this. It's beautiful. Look at the detail on it. Let's see. It's got like a forest pattern on it. They look like trees, but I'm guessing it's almost like fractal burning only with paint. <laughs> Where the paint just kind of did its own thing. And usually the Delft blue, Delft, Delft is not an easy thing to say. Delft blue is a dark blue so like the blue willow kind of blue and white but as you can see it's dull and it's in the turquoise so I was super excited and it didn't have a price on it and I picked it up anyway and the guy says I'll sell it to you for $1.99 I'm like sold way easy to buy that one more fairy lights these are battery operated because I'm going to junk bonanza on the spring and I know I'll want to have lighting that I can wire up and put under things and through things and under things lighting is important I like my space to be bright. Now, I had a discussion with another vendor and she said she likes her booth to be moody. I guess there's something to be said for that. It gives it kind of a, a feel, but I would rather you come in and be able to see what I have and, you know, buy stuff. Not just go, look how pretty. <laughs> I want it to be pretty and purchasable. That's a thing, right? The ampersands, still hot. $1.99 on this one. It's loose. I will fix that. It's a couple flathead screws. I can, I can wield a flathead screwdriver. This little number. So these are always good to have for um, 
the misters, especially in the spring, and I'm going to spring junk bonanza. This particular one is brass all the way through. It needs some WD-40, y'all. It is having a little bit of a struggle getting this down. I had to kind of... Somebody used it. It needs to be uh, loved up a little bit. Gosh, that's tight. But I think I can uh, bring it back to life. But it is real brass. Nice little solid brass mister. It'll be nice at the spring jump bonanza. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and last in this bag, it's another frame. Also, we'll get a coat of duck egg blue. This one has the glass. Get a coat of duck egg blue. Very French, Frenchy kind of scripty scrolly frames and people love them so let me show you what I got back here okay so there's the child's chair I got two of these in the red I can't keep children's chairs in now if you remember uh, the one video I bought two children's chairs one in a green and one in a red they're gone so I got two red this time and hopefully I can keep them for more than a day or not I don't care just buy them right they also had this. If you do upholstery, you know how expensive chair foam is. This has two pieces of nice um, chair foam in it, and it's two bucks. So, yeah, taking that home. Brand new. Brand new, still in package, chair foam, $2. Done and done. Then I got this little number. It's like a faux vintage tin, ceiling tin kind of look. And it said, God's smallest new star. That's getting changed out for sure. So this will get a paint job and probably welcome across it. And it will be a cute little farmhousey farmhouse thing. So sorry to God's newest little star, but... I, I need to do something that is a little more universal. So it'll be welcome sign. That'll get stenciled with a great big old welcome. And then, okay. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Copper umbrella candy dish. So I have had these in um, glass before. And I had pink depression era glass with the umbrella stand. I have never seen a copper one. I think this is probably post-war because it's only like most of the copper melted down. It's bent. That's okay. I'll bend it back. Yeah, peach luster wear. So excited about this. These will go on Etsy for sure. It's the cream and sugar. The, um, Oh, wow. Did you see my brain just go like, whoop? It's the peach luster wear. Oh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. <laughs> Hank hockey peach luster wear. You know what kept popping into my head? Noritake. Because I'm, I'm writing an article on Noritake China and I couldn't come up with anything but Noritake. It's... Anchor Hawking, not Noritake. Anchor Hawking, Luster Wear, Peach Luster Wear. So, ready. So, I'm really excited. That'll definitely go on Etsy. And then, of course, I can't show you the wardrobe, the waterfall wardrobe, because it has not come home with me yet. You know what I'll do on Monday when I pick it up? I will post a photo on my Instagram page. So, go to, I'll put it here. I'll put it right here. At SV Case. Follow me on Instagram and I will post a photo of the wardrobe and tell you if I survive my husband finding out about it. <laughs> Wish me luck. I totally didn't need a project right now, you guys. It was just a random act of weirdness to stop in the first place and then suddenly I'm coming home with a freaking waterfall wart. What the hell? Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay.
Well, thanks for watching everyone. Hey, do me a favor and click the like button. It really helps out. I know that it's like, why bother, right? Because, but it does. It's like, it's like better than a payment. You know, you don't have to give me cash, but give me likes. So I appreciate it. Click the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button because there's way more coming. I'm sure. I'm leaving this weekend for a mommy weekend and my girlfriend says that uh, you know, we'll be junkin'. So she knows what I do and she's willing to feed my addiction. So there's a lot more junk coming up. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.